So this tab that has been with me for almost two years now, and this is the Samsung Tab S6, which actually is my very first screen tablet ever where I can literally draw anywhere. During those two years, I've still been using this one for some sketch purposes, post studies, concept works, and more. So what do I think about this after those years? Is it still worth it? Let's find out. What's up guys, GBS here, and today we'll be reviewing about the Samsung Tab S6, what if it's still worth it among the countless new ones among the market. Don't confuse this one compared to the S6 Lite. Even though both have a similar specs, this Tab S6 is in a higher tier version compared to the S6 Lite. As an anime artist, I won't be focusing too much on the technical stuff because the drawing experience will be our main focus for this review. I'll be skipping on the unboxing portion since I've already discussed some of the basic stuff on my previous review on this tablet. First, let's talk about the design. This tablet is an aluminum body and satin finish which is great since it lessens the amounts of hand marks when you are holding it without a case. I also like the slightly rounded edges on the body as well as the thin profile making it easier to handle even with one hand. This makes it perfect size with a 10.5 inch body, very portable where you can snuck in your small bag without affecting too much weight while you are carrying it. The power button and volume can be found here on the side of the tablet as well as the external memory and the SIM card slot and can be accessed by using a pin. This tablet can be powered by a USB Type-C connection which can be found here as well. This tablet although small packs a great quality of sound which is tuned by AKG. You can find the speakers which are not one but four speakers on the opposite sides of the tablet which are great if you're watching movies or listening to lo-fi music while you're drawing. This tablet has two cameras which are located here in the back as the main one and the other one here at the front. The selfie camera is oriented on the portrait position so it might have the slightly position issues when using for video calls. The camera has an 8 megapixels 1080p at 30 fps. As usual, I don't really use the camera of this one for video content recording other than references I might see in a snap. So the keyboard case has been quite an issue for me. Although it's very thoughtful of Samsung to include the case and keyboard as a package for this, somehow this keyboard case has been unusable for me early on. I'm not sure what you guys' experiences are but just several weeks when using this keyboard, most of the time, it will not respond ending up unusable for typing purposes up to now. That's quite unfortunate since it would have been a better experience if the quality of the keyboard has been functional. But you can still use this as a cover for your tablet so it kept it rather than disposing. Though the back cover is rigid, you can access the stand. There are times that it loosens the attachment at the back of the tablet causing it to fall off. So just keep that in mind when using it on a laptop mode. The S Pen included in this tablet is great though it is a bit small in terms of size compared to the S7 and Apple Pencil. You can access it here on the back of the tablet and it's attached by it magnetically. This pen also features some air gestures and I'm happy that some of the tools like the translate, snip, and others are still working since it can be helpful when you're taking notes and stuff. The profile of this one is flatter compared to the S7 and Apple Pencil which might need some getting used to for some. The profile also help it not to continuously roll over when you left it on your desk. The responsiveness and accuracy of this pen is actually still great which I'll be discussing more later. This tab is a 10.5 inch display, a 1600 by 2560 pixels, a 16 by 10 ratio Super AMOLED display which is perfect for those who want that vibrant high contrast display for their artworks. I also like the laminated display which creates a very thin distance from your pen and screen. Last but not the least, this tablet is a 120Hz refresh rate which creates that smooth execution of strokes creating a more natural drawing experience. So now let's get into the drawing app so we can see how well it performs in terms of drawing. The app we'll be using is Medibank Paint. First, before we start, you can try to change the opacity of your screen through the UI transparency if you want a more visible canvas display. As you can see here on the pen tool, the application on the dots are quite responsive even if I apply them hastily. Same goes for some small check marks. Both appear to be responding accurately without delay. On the long line application, you can see that there's a small bit of delay if you apply them quickly. But one thing that is impressive on this one is the very minimal wobble on the strokes as well as the accurate thin to thick lines and the smooth tapering end from the brush. It performs similarly well when applied on wavy lines which are very smooth with good tapering at the end of each strokes. Now I will move on to using the pencil tool to see if it performs just as well. As you can see here, it now displays a more pleasing variation in opacity depending on how much pressure you apply on the pen. The responsiveness on how fast or slow you apply the stroke is pretty good as well. This pencil tool is the main brush I use for doing line art 
and detailing so I'm really happy that it's performing really excellent despite using for a long time already. As you can see here, the opacity depending on how much pressure you apply is really good as well as the smooth transition from thin to thick at the end of each stroke and accuracy are remarkable as well. If you want to further improve this output, you can increase the correction setting on the pen in here. But do note that by increasing this, you will experience a more delay on your drawings process. I mostly apply this setting on long type of lines and curves where smooth lines are crucial, especially in vector line works. So make sure just to use this setting in moderation since it might hinder your natural wrist movement when drawing. So now we're gonna be using an airbrush test. First, I start on a smaller size and as you can see here, there's a noticeable delay for this one especially when you apply them hastily. This is much more noticeable when you increase the size of the brush, causing more delay on the output. It's basically the same performance on wavy and straight application, so it would be best if you use this tool not too fast to avoid delay. So now let's do an actual drawing procedure so we can see on how well it performs on actual drawing process. I'll be doing a sketch of one of my current favorite characters in anime. I'll just be using the pencil tool since it's my most used brush among all the presets included here on Medibank Paint. And for me, this is the most natural looking brush tool for me which is closest on how it would look on traditional sketch. As you can see here, even just one brush can go a long way. You can use this either on sketching and detailing by just adjusting the size and opacity. It's useful to have some texture brushes as well as customized ones, but remember that having tons of brush shouldn't be your main concern before starting your own artwork. So let me just wrap this drawing and we can proceed to our final thoughts on this tablet. Samsung Tab S6 Dolby in the market for almost 5 years is still performing extremely well. As I've shown, it still provides a holistic drawing experience despite its age. The good build quality, reliable S Pen, Super AMOLED display, and 120Hz, the current cheap market price makes this tablet a highly recommended tool for those who are looking for a great equipment but on a tighter budget. The only complaint that I would have for this one is the unreliable keyboard case, which I had a lot of issues to begin with. Overall, I'm very happy that after a long term usage, the drawing experience on this one is really great and I highly recommend this one. So that's it, hope you guys find this video informative and see you guys on the next one.